What's going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to list your first vehicle on Turo and get you on your way to earning passive income on the side. For those of you who do not know, Turo is extremely similar to Airbnb. Uh, however, instead of running out your house to other individuals, you're running out your vehicle. And the vehicle can be one that you own completely, could be one that you finance through a conventional bank alone, or it could be leased out. Um, all those options work on Turo. So we're gonna start out by going to the upper right-hand corner where there's the sign up link. And Turo's gonna ask how you wanna create an account. Do you wanna create it with Apple, Google, Facebook, or an existing email? Um, for this purpose, I'm just gonna click email. The other ones are pretty much self-explanatory. And so you'll go in here, you'll, you'll add your first name, your last name, email address, and password. And then you'll go to sign up. So now that you've signed up, you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner that your banner has changed with the links. So now you have the option to list your car, learn more, trips, messages, and then your account settings. So we're gonna go to list your car. And you'll be brought to another web page that gives you a little bit more information of how to list your car and the benefits of it. Um, I'll let you guys look at that at your own time. So we'll go to get started. And you'll see now are a bunch of different tabs uh, asking for inputs about your vehicle. So the first question you're going to ask is, where is your car located? I'm just going to make up a street name here in Houston, Texas, and then add your VIN. Uh, your VIN is your vehicle identification number, and this is typically located on your vehicle or somewhere near your user manual. Um, it's a 17-digit number. So we're going to add one here that I found online. Click save. Um, now, if your vehicle is identified, it will populate a lot of this information for you. However, it was unable to define the vehicle I searched. So uh, just for simplicity's sake, we'll go and make up a vehicle in here. It's called a 2017. What do we want? A Chevy. Say it's a Camaro. It's a fairly new vehicle. Um, automatic transmission. And then I'll ask you for your trim and style. These are optional. So if you know them, I recommend putting them in here. And lastly, uh, in this section, it's gonna ask you, has your car ever been branded or does it have a salvage title? Um, if this does apply to you, I would recommend not listing your vehicle on Turo. Um, if it doesn't, just leave it checked here. And then it will ask you if you're listing this as a personal vehicle or a commercial vehicle, uh, keep it checked if it's one of your, it's your personal vehicle that you either own or, or you lease. So once you click next, it's gonna ask you for another bit of information here regarding your profile photo skip over a couple of these, your, your phone number, and then your driver's license information. So fill all that in. So once you finish the upper section, you'll be brought to this car availability section. Now this is a very important section, and depending if you wanna be very aggressive with your with uh, running out here on Turo, or if you wanna be more conservative, you wanna make sure that you pick the proper settings here. So this section is the advanced notice. The advanced notice is how much of an advanced notice somebody can give you to book their vehicle. So in this drop-down menu, menu, you'll see that there's 12 hours, one day, or two days. Now what that means is if I'm a customer running out your vehicle uh, and you select 12 hours, that means I can book your vehicle 12 hours prior to my trip. Now if this is two days, that means if I'm trying to book your vehicle for Friday, I need to make sure that I book it by Wednesday. Uh, that can really limit yourself against your competitors when running out in Turo. So we're gonna be more aggressive with this listing and just select 12 hours. And then you'll be asked, how long would you like your trips to last? So this gives you the flexibility of determining what the shortest possible trip is. So maybe the minimum duration that someone can rent out your vehicle is a day, is it two days, or is it five days? Um, so again, we're gonna be more aggressive with this listing. We're gonna say any. So someone could literally rent it out for an hour if they wanted to, or they can rent it out for an entire month. Um, and that brings us to the longest possible trip. So you can restrict how long someone can continuously rent it. And, Again, we're going to be aggressive with this and, and put any. Next, we're brought to the car details. So you want to take a look at your vehicle and add the license plate number, um, the state that that license is issued, and a description. And down here is that there's any unique car features um, or additional features that the car comes with, such as a child seat or a ski rack or you know, USB inputs. Make sure if you do have any of these features that you highlight them all because this can really help you stand out from your competitors. And then we'll go to the next section, which is the car photos. 
Now this is, again, a very important section, um, just like the car availability. However, this is, what, this is the impression that you're gonna be making on potential customers. So if you just take one or two photos with your smartphone outside, and you know, nothing really unique or creative about it, you're not gonna get a whole lot of bookings. So Turo recommends four things when you go ahead and, and shoot your photos. So they recommend shooting during the daytime, take clear and crisp photos. Um, if you have like a, a DSLR camera, that, that's ideal. If not, sometimes you, know, you can work your smartphone and edit it on the back end. Um, other things, try somewhere open or scenic. So you can look in this, this picture here with the Corolla. There's a scenic background, probably of the, the California valleys and the mountains and, and the backdrop. So that's unique and really captures the audience when you're scrolling down through Turo. And then fourthly here, look out for moving cars. And it's kind of just a side note there. I don't talk too much about that. And then down here, here's some tech, technical specs they're looking for. So it has to be smaller than 10 megs and the dimensions should be 640 pixels by 320. So larger the better in most cases. So once you've added your photos there, go to the last section here and just click agree and continue after you read this section. Uh, this is just regarding safety and quality standards that Turo has in place. So now we'll go down here and we'll click publish. So there you have it. Your listing is now live on Turo and available for rent. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for future Turo tutorial videos. Man, that's hard to say.